last year, I reported that the forum was attracting large numbers of new members and anticipating some of the highest levels of renewals since its formation in 1995 and how this augured well for the future. My core message today is very similar with more new members and even higher levels of renewals. I would like to thank each and every member for their continued support and engagement. As chair of the forum's advisory board, I have seen firsthand how well the forum has adapted to the changes resulting from the pandemic. As a recognized representative body to government for the UK's largest sector, we focus on four national priorities relevant to the professions, namely business skills, innovation, productivity, and leveling up. In relation to business skills, I'd like to highlight three of our initiatives. Firstly, our formal peer groups go from strength to strength with more members than ever. Our thanks to moderators Richard Thorby and Nicole Backman, and to our head of memberships, Claire Mitchell, for her tenacity in forming new groups. Our mentor match program, organized jointly with our sister association, the PM Forum, was launched in February as a public good. It combines an algorithm to identify matches and a personal, personal dashboard for all stages of the mentorship journey. I'm delighted to report that the program has already resulted in 44 new mentorships. <clears throat> and thirdly, this week sees the 75th episode of the Retuning Your Firm show hosted by Richard. It is much more than a free panel session with the findings of live polls shared with government and over 250 videos of full shows and presentations by guests attracting hundreds of views every month. The second priority is innovation and rather than promoting specific solutions, we provide advice and tools to facilitate the innovation process. In particular, encouraging the use of design sprints. Our recent innovation summit showed how any board can use professionally designed whiteboards to help resolve business challenges. The third pro uh, priority is productivity. The forum defines productivity as the product of firstly, what is done to people, <clears throat> and second, how they feel about it. That is to say, employee engagement. We observe that leadership style has a strong influence on the level of employee engagement. For example, those leaders that practice challenge and support, the default style at most professional service firms, typically enjoy far higher levels of employee engagement than those that practice command and control, the default at most corporates. These original insights have resulted in two active public campaigns. Firstly, urging leadership teams at professional service firms who practice challenge and support to share their approach with their peers at clients. And secondly, urging those responsible for shortlisting non-executive director roles at corporates to expand their searches to include those with direct experience of challenge and support leadership. And the fourth priority is leveling up. An ideal outcome is a firm in a prosperous area transferring some of its less profitable work to a firm in a less pro prosperous area with lower costs. We are developing an online marketplace to facilitate these types of transactions. Finally, our committees and HQ may come up with great ideas and initiatives. However, effective marketing of content and messages to key audiences is also essential. Thanks are due to our head of marketing, Larissa Hale, for the dramatic growth in traffic, page impressions, and followers on the forum's LinkedIn site in recent months. Coming back.